Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hot Miss Magical Express. It's spooky season. Woo! Ooh, these ears are soft. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Ooh. Soft. Pardon me while I feel my ears. Mine are kind of soft. So mine are supposed to, I was checking a minute ago, but mine are supposed to glow in the dark. So let's see. Oh, well, they're a little glowy. Oh, I can kind of see it. Yeah. Maybe they need more like light activation. Yeah. And I'm not sure the ring light kind of gets them the way they need to. So, so Lindsay and I, well, I'm going to talk about the cruise. Lindsay's going to be excited and ask questions about the cruise. I just got off um, just, just a hot minute ago, the Disney fantasy um cruising is back people so exciting um if you've never been on a cruise you need to go if you've been on a cruise you need to do a disney cruise because disney is amazing so, disney does right do what disney does everything right they really do so for we got to talk about this genie plus situation but i digress um <laughs> um they just they really really do the cruise industry right i mean it's there's just so many like little detail things that just blow my mind like i've been on royal caribbean and i've been on carnival royal caribbean's great carnival not so much um royal caribbean cruise loved it um great great cruise line um but you know i've heard the cruise lines horns and stuff disney's plays disney music and i sobbed like a because i couldn't believe i was on a disney cruise b because i was so sad my family wasn't with me um and c i was just like wait what so freaking cool just just so many little things um you know and now now is really the time so just so you know in order to go on a disney cruise right now you have to be fully vaccinated 100 percent, 14 days from your second shot fully vaccinated everybody 12 and older 12 and under has to get a test pre-cruise and then the day of your cruise right before you board everybody gets tested at disney's expense a lot of the cruise lines including royal caribbean right now do i uh, so like even vaccinated people get tested the day of yes oh, i love that yep even vaccinated people so that a lot of the cruise lines perfect. right now they're they're requiring you to get tested but you're doing it at your expense um, Disney is paying for you to get tested. So when you get there and you give the, the luggage guys, your luggage, you go straight to testing vaccinated and unvaccinated. Doesn't matter. You go straight to testing and you go through this very simple, very quick process. And then you go into this holding area and the holding area was like an air conditioning, one of those big giant white tents kind of thing. Um, and it was air conditioning and you're sitting there and then your room number comes up on the screen when you've passed your test as a, as a negative, you're negative on your test. And then you board. Um, I would say the whole process probably took about 40, 45 minutes. Um, not bad at all. Um, although I'm sure, you know, as they increase capacity, that process could take longer, but right now they're limiting capacity um the fantasy fits approximately 4000 people and there was about 1200 of us it was amazing it was well, like, and also think about like 1200 people all spread out too like it's not yeah. like it's 1200 people sitting in the same area all the time too yeah which makes it even better the dining room you know the tables were spaced out um you know, the Disney parks aren't recognizing socially distancing anymore. Not, not even no. close. Nope. Um, 
but the Disney cruise lines are everything is socially distanced the tables the lines you're in everything on the cruise ship is socially distanced um disney and and norwegian and royal caribbean as well they have all replaced their air filtration systems so that it catches 99 percent of bacteria and viruses um which i think even before covid is a pretty darn cool thing because you know cruise ships are kind of known for being that cesspool of of germs so well, yeah think about any time you've flown or any time you've gotten off a cruise ship or really anything that you're in tight quarters with people for an extended period of time you have the chance of getting sick and like I can't tell you how many times that I've gotten off a cruise or flown and I've gotten home and I've been sick from something yeah so that I would also make me feel a lot better about cruising. Yeah. So the air filtration systems are better. Disney, uh, they were constantly cleaning. Um, like everywhere you looked, somebody was wiping down banisters, wiping down the chairs, wiping down. Like I was actually really amazed because while in the theme parks, I felt like during the pandemic, you know, during the height of everything, they were doing a really good job cleaning they were not doing this good of a job cleaning. Like no. the cruise ship was like on fire, man. They were on top of it. Um, you, if you were leaning against a railing and like looking over the edge of the ship, you'd walk away and you'd look back and somebody was cleaning the spot where you were just standing. Like it was, it was really quite awesome. Um, everybody was so happy to be back all the cast members, they were just so happy um, and so thrilled to see us all. Um, you know, some things are different. Uh, when you board, uh, you don't go to the mustard drill anymore, which as far as I'm concerned is spot on. Can we continue that? Because I hate that. Oh, I loved it. Oh, did you? Sierra and I were just such goofballs that we were doing it. We were making everybody laugh. So we had a blast. Oh my gosh. I can't stop being crowded and, and having to listen to all the, if we hit an iceberg kind if of crap. Were, here's what you should do. Yeah. Come I just, I didn't like it. Of your cruise. So it was really cool. So you, what you go, you get on the ship and you go to your mustard drill station and you check in. And they say, here's the, here's the rules. Take a picture of them and go have fun. So it gives you more time to go grab a drink and go have fun. Like it was awesome. Um, you receive, you didn't receive your keys, your room key at check-in. You re it was on your door, um, which I thought was kind of cool. It was in a sealed envelope. Um, and then every day they come in and clean, which is again, something else that Disney parks isn't doing. They're not providing you, um, when you're staying in the hotels and the resorts on Disney property right now, they're not providing you with everyday, um, maid service, uh, housekeeping. They're not providing you with that right now. Mousekeeping. Mousekeeping. Thank you. That's the word I needed. Mousekeeping. But on the ship, they did came in every day made the bed put the bed away that was pull out made his little animal cleaned like every day fresh towels amazing absolutely amazing um the shows were really fun um we got frozen aladdin and oh i can't think of the name of the last one Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Um, it was, a, it started off a bit slow, the last show, but it, I ended up crying at the end. So it was great. <laughs> what was what it? it? So where all did you eat? So great thing about Disney is, um, I don't see it. They have rotational dining. So every night you're in a different dining room. 
So your wait staff still follows you around, which is cool, but yes. you're not looking at the same scenery every single night. Um, so we did on the fantasy, they have the alum animators palette, which is super fun. And they have these screens and crush came to our table and talks to us. I would die. Yeah. He's like having a whole conversation with us. And he was like, Hey, want to take a picture with me? So I took a selfie with crush. Yeah. He was like, Maria, take a picture with me. And I was like, okay. Meanwhile, Lindsay's finding out, should I sell my house to go on a Disney cruise? <laughs> Second morning. Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> um so that was super cool the animators palette um and then the royal table is of course it looks all fancy and royal and there's mosaics of all the princesses think like uh the mosaics in cinderella's castle but all over the wall of all the different princesses like um that. super cool and then the enchanted garden was the third um dining room um they so it's funny because they were like oh you know take a picture of mickey on the fountain it's the only time you'll see mickey in a dress and it, so i took a picture of him i didn't think too much about it and they're like oh it's the only place in the world mickey's in a dress mickey's in a dress so i get home and i'm showing the pictures to the family and greg's like that's not a dress it's a tunic like a you know like a renaissance time tunic so I'm like, oh, like I didn't even look close enough, you know, when I was there. Um, so yeah, three dining rooms. And then the fourth dining room, we were supposed to repeat, I want to say Enchanted Garden. Um, but we went to Palo instead, which was That's a the, phenomenal. Like, really fancy one, right? That you can pay for. Yes, this one you can pay for. And I will tell you, so they have a prefix menu. Um, it's $45 for the prefix menu. Or That's you can, no. Or you can order a la carte. Nothing on the prefix menu really hit me. Like nothing really looked amazing. Okay. Cool. Um, the a la carte menu, however, fire. So good. Um, so I ordered from the a la carte menu. And everything was delicious. Um, so good. It was definitely the best meal of the ship. Definitely. Um, our waiter was awesome, but everything was really good. Um, and it, you know, it still, it cost me about 50 bucks by the time I was done. And I shared an appetizer, got a soup, got my meal, got dessert. That's still not bad. I think no, that's plenty. I don't think it was bad at all. Um, heck, I'm going to spend more than that at Space 220 in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so, yeah, super delicious um, at Paulo. And we did that during the Pirate Night menu. The Pirate Night menu didn't thrill me very much. Okay. Um, or anybody. So we, we bailed out on that. But... Um, the the ship we were the cruise we were on was a halloween cruise so they had a fun halloween party and um normally i guess the kids go around and go trick-or-treating on the cruise ship but i don't think i'm not positive but i don't think they were doing that this time okay probably because of covid um but they had a super fun party disney is the only cruise ship that does fireworks so we watched fireworks um one night on the deck and it was really kind of funny because you could see out all of the ships surrounding us we're like, they're like you didn't pay disney prices but we're gonna let you watch their fireworks <laughs> that is funny that's probably yeah. exactly what they're doing so yeah, they all sat out there and watched our fireworks, which I thought was hysterical. We, um, when we first boarded, our balcony was facing a carnival cruise line that was boarding as well. And they were mobbed. There were so many people on that ship. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank God I'm not there. <laughs> thank God I'm not there. Um, but it just, it was so nice 
it was just awesome. I, I really think, especially right now, Disney is offering 20 to 25% off certain sailings between now and mid November. Um, and they don't discount their cruises very often. So I, now is the time to get on this boat. Like it is so freaking cool. Um, if you want to see pictures, definitely go on my page, um, on Facebook and my Instagram pages, hot mess, magical express and life's adventure, the number four and five life's adventure for five. Um, I have pictures there. You guys can see. Um, and speaking of which my reel that I did on Instagram of me heading to my first Disney cruise, I don't know if you remember that reel or not, but it has almost 14,000 views. That's I'm amazing. Like, what? And then the one next to it has like 36. <laughs> like Instagram, listen to me, get your shit together. <laughs> These algorithms are killing me. Um, but yeah, you could totally see pictures there. Super fun. I do have one more question. Yeah, so what it. is available for adults? Like, so adult only things. Yes. So a uh, funny story. I'm glad you reminded me because I wanted to tell you a funny story. So first of all, I was there as an adult. I had no kids and I had so much fun. Um, the entire forward, forward or aft, the entire aft of the ship is, is clubs that are adult only. Oh, I did cool. a mixology class down there. There's, Fine. um, there's just this whole, like this whole, like network of bars. Um, one is called the tube and it's kind of like, uh, after the, after the tube in England, um, so it's very like British in there. There's a Irish pub. There's a champagne room, which I walked through just to see and stuff, but I never actually got to go sit in there, but it was super fancy and frilly and pretty. And um, then there was another place that I forget what it was called, but it kind of had like this carousel and almost like a city look. And then there was another one um, called the Skyline and it has these big, huge screens where you sit. And the skyline just changes every so often. So it literally looks like you're looking out the window at night at a skyline. It's That's amazing. Cool. That's where I took the mixology class. And was the mixology class that was that cost extra? Yes. So the mixology class was extra. Normally during that mixology class, you actually get to mix your own drinks. Well, you're in a group and everybody gets to like make drinks, you know? This time they pre-made the drinks for you. So a yeah. little bit, a little bit different, but um, the drinks were delicious and had a good it's buzz by the time I left. <laughs> so um, there's all kinds of like different activities and games down in that area for adults only. And one of the games was called Match Your Mate. And it's kind of like the newlywed game. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully I don't get in trouble for telling this story with Disney because it's hysterical. First of all, I went to both nights and the hostesses of the game show were so funny. Like I was like in tears from laughing so hard at these people. Um, the second night, <laughs> this guy who clearly did not want to be on this show and his wife, they're a little bit, they're probably my age, they're a little bit older couple and only had only been married for like three or four years or whatever. And so, you know, the women are sitting down in front uh, off the stage with headphones on so they can't hear anything. And then the men are on stage and she's asking them questions. And first of all, the hostess is hysterical the way she asked these questions, but she asked the question, what is the most interesting and funniest, weirdest place you and your mate have ever made the magic? 
and she's like grinding her hips and you know moving and stuff she's like you know what i mean made the magic and and the dj is playing i'm feeling fine you know <laughs> it's hysterical so she gets to the one guy and he says on the balcony during the fireworks and she's like oh okay she, and then she goes wait and you can see the light bulb come up on her head and she goes our balcony during our fireworks on this ship last night like she's like going through the motions and he's like don't ask questions you don't want the answers to and everybody is dying oh my gosh dying so she she just can't even get over it right so she finally moves on finishes out the questions the women get back on stage and she asks the women so where is the weirdest funnest you know place you and your maid have ever made the magic and his wife turns beet red and she says hanging off the balcony during the fireworks and i stood up and i said whoa 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 i need details what do you mean hanging off the balcony and everybody's dying there's probably only 20 30 people in there um because that's the other thing that they all the bars limit capacity so once yeah. they're full they're full um uh, i'm like i i am mind blown what do you mean hanging off the balcony right he skipped the hanging part i need details like how does this happen so everybody is just dying in the whole place it is so freaking funny so lots of fun stuff like that for adults um <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. so disney they have that they have on castaway k they have adult only section Perfect. um and an adult only um buffet to eat at and and it, everything's a buffet but they serve you you're not touching any utensils eating off a buffet like you used to um disney does not offer alcohol packages um but the drinks aren't really expensive they're no more than if you were to go to your, your local bar down the street okay. um so like cheaper than like disney park prices some of them depending oh. on the drink you're getting yeah I would okay. say yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because we definitely spend like what thirteen or fourteen dollars on one margarita. Oh yeah, that margarita I want to say is like fourteen seventy five or something like that. Yeah, it's something. I mean, it's a hundred percent. I won't really pay for two. Right. That's a lot, but um, yeah. I will pay. Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, cheaper than that. Okay. Um. But they do have a couple of things like, okay, so first of all, they have a mug. And I, I actually was going to pull this up and see if I can show you a picture. They have a mug that you can get because I didn't bring the mug home because I'll tell you why. So you can buy this mug and it's a 20 ounce, I think it's a 20 ounce beer. And you buy the mug and you fill it with beer. And then when you're ready for your next beer, you pay a 12 ounce beer price instead of a 20 ounce beer price. Okay. So a little bit of a discount there. I'm going to share my screen for a second. What just happened? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So this is the mug. Oh, cool. So it's really tall. Yeah. Um, and you fill the mug and you can keep the mug or it's heavy and it's big. So yeah. you can trade it in. And when you trade it in, you get a beer token. And then when you're ready for a beer again, you just go to the bar, hand them your beer token, and they hand you another mug. Oh, I like that. So super fun.
So I brought the beer token home instead of the mug. So that next time we're on a Disney cruise, hello, I just trade it in for another mug. Oh, that's perfect. And I pay for 12 ounces of beer instead of 20. I will say, I think they need to up their beer game. That was my question. I was like, okay, but like what type of beer is it? Like, is it only like Bud Light, Miller Light, stuff like that? No, there is that. They have a couple of like kind of craft beers. This was a cider. They had a uh, Angry Orchard, some sort of cider. I don't even remember. Um, And different bars might have a different kind of beer. Like one bar had a um, a bourbon ale. It was okay. way too bourbony for me, but Greg would have loved yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. So I mean, knowing that they have other options is good. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just all your crappy beer. Um. This is the tube. That's the one bar. So the other cool thing about um, alcohol is you can get a wine package, which I don't really know much about how that worked, but cool thing. Let's say night one, you're like, I want wine. I like to have wine with dinner. So Mm -hmm. night one, you buy a bottle of wine and then you have a glass, maybe two, whatever you're going to do. And then they will cork it and tag it for you. And then the next night when you sit down, your wine is there. Oh, I like that. Cause you know, it's cheaper to buy the bottle than it is a glass. Yeah. I like, you don't want to feel obligated to drink a whole bottle. Right. Exactly. I know I sound crazy, but like, I don't ever drink a bottle of wine. Greg and I will drink a whole bottle between the two of us with dinner. Between because, two people. You know, it's, I, I'm not making it to my room that night. So right, right. not be drinking a whole bottle of wine by myself. But, you know, it's like typically four glasses. So between Greg and I, we'll have two glasses each will be good. But, yeah. you know, for something like this, it's perfect to buy the whole, buy the whole bottle and just have it for Did several that nights. That was Skellington photo? Yeah. So apparently before we walked into the tube, they had an art class. Love. And they taught, um, they taught you how to draw Jack Skellington. And then... Oh. Um, and then Mickey and Minnie came in. Oh, they're so cute. Look how and cute that's, they are. that's so cool. Yeah, like I like to actually make it still Disney-fied for adults. Because like, I'm sorry, if you're on a Disney cruise as an adult, like, I hope you like Disney. Otherwise, your spouse probably drug you on there and I'm sorry. Right. But if it's me going, like, for example, like if you, me and Caitlin went on a Disney cruise together and we didn't bring children. This is what I would want. I want to go to a bar and I want Mickey and Minnie dressed in their Halloween costume standing behind me. Yeah, 100%. They were and so all- cute. So cute. I like your mask. Oh, thanks. So masks were required indoors. Indoors. At all yep. Okay. Unless you were sitting down eating or drinking. Okay, that makes sense. Even the bathrooms were, the public bathroom areas were capacity okay so question about that because i know like obviously covid is not necessarily new now but like for example back when the parks first opened in july of 2020 um they didn't have the so like you had to wear a mask unless you were eating or drinking and so people were taking advantage of it and they would like literally hold their water bottle and be like oh i'm drinking so i can take off my mask and walk around the parks so then they changed it to where you have to be stationary eating and drinking like off this but I know that they like at the restaurants they were fine like if you're at the restaurant like whether like because obviously at a restaurant like you're not necessarily like eating and drinking the whole time like sometimes you're talking to the people at your table are they okay with you taking off your mask as long as you're sitting at that table yep okay yeah and I'll tell you too in the parks I Walking around the parks, I constantly hear cast members, please pull your mask up. Please put your mask on. Please pull your mask over your nose. Please put your mask on. And you hear a lot of grumbling and griping and complaining and none of that on the cruise. Oh, I like that. None of that on the cruise. Nobody complained. Nobody. 
I, I don't think I, I heard one cast member say, please don't forget to put on your mask. And it was to me <laughs> because I walked into um, a building and I was talking and just totally forgot. I, that's the only time I ever heard a cast member remind anybody. Of course it was you. Of course. I was blah, 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 blah yeah. walk, and walked in and I had it in my hand, like ready to put on. I just hadn't quite got there yet. Yeah. Um, but that's the only time I ever heard anybody remind. This is the little, little other area. I, I forget what it's called, but it kind of looks like a little that's you know, outside. Yeah. I love it. This Fine. is the champagne room. I want to go there. Look how pretty. Oh my goodness. I love champagne. That looks like so much fun. That is so cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. We could sit there together and snuggle. Good. Notice how I don't mention that I would ever be taking a Disney cruise with my husband because tell me. <laughs> this was the tree when you came into the main area. Love the tree. I will so, say that normally making the magic on the balcony, my husband would be pushing me over because he would be very upset <laughs> that I'm on a Disney cruise. <laughs> um, normally for this tree, there's apparently a big uh, tree lighting ceremony that happens at the beginning of the cruise, but that didn't happen because of COVID. Well, that's so, a bummer you know, just little things like that have changed, but for the most part, everything else. <gasps> the princesses. Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I didn't get the best pictures of them. So That's this is the animator's palette. This is one of the restaurants. Oh I'll my gosh. You this and then we'll wrap this up. How awesome are those chairs? Uh, and the floor. Yes. Look at that. Is this, this is the one where a crush came over, right? Yes, I'll show you. And all of these pictures move. And that's the other cool thing about Disney, the cruise ship. Like you're walking down the hall and there's a, you know, a painting, a beautiful painting on the wall. And next thing you know, it moves or changes. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Um, so a lot of these, like a fish would swim by that board. This is the kind of detail I'm talking about. How freaking cool is that? Is that? That was the bread that. plate. Yeah, that is so cute. So you'll notice like, so this just looks like a picture of Gil up there, but mm -hmm. then Gil swims by. Oh my gosh, I love it. See? That is so freaking cute. That was when the crush came to the other table. And he says y'all's names too. He asks, so he, he, for us, let me see if I can pull up the video. See, he posed for our picture. Oh my gosh. I think this is the video. I don't know if it'll pull up though on Zoom. But he comes up and he's like, hey, like, what is your name? Who is, who's at your table? And then he, like, he asked, was talking to Lee and he told Lee to introduce everybody that was at the table. So I, then he talks to each one of us individually. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And then he was I, like, hey, take oh, a picture with me. So that's me taking my selfie with Crush. I want to go so bad. And that was dinner. And the food was good? Yeah, so, you know me, I'm a foodie. So I would have to say, for the majority, it was great. Okay. But, like, one dish I sent back um, for lunch the second day. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, by the way. Room service free. Love that. 
and every day you order the cake of the day for room service. That's fun. oh, that. Did you get Disney Cruise Line ears? No, I wanted to, but I didn't. You'll just have to get them next time. I know. I debated. I met C3PO. Love. Had a conversation with him. I bet he was hilarious. This is the royal table with all oh. the pa paintings of the princesses. I love that. I bet Cass loved this. I haven't shown, well, she might have seen those pictures on Facebook, but I haven't shown her because she would have been mad that she missed that. That's so, so this was lunch and it was halibut. And it was dry, dry, dry. Ooh, so I, no. sent, I sent it back. Like, I literally could not eat it. It had no flavor. It was so dry. Well, so, there's real, like, if you don't like your food, you can order something different. Yeah, that's the great thing about a cruise ship. Yeah. So this was Anne Marie's burger, which I thought it was cute. Ketchup was in shape of. That is. Cute. So I ordered tortilla soup which tasted more like tomato soup than tortilla soup, but it was delicious. I was going to say that looks like tomato soup, but okay. Yeah, it really was more like a tomato soup, but it was, it was good. And then I just ordered this bruschetta cheese prosciutto platter. Delicious. Love that. And, oh, that cake was really good. Ooh. I must have missed my, oh, the calamari. That is some of the best calamari I have ever had in my entire life. That was it awesome. was delicious. So good. So yeah, for the most part, food was good. Um, it's Captain Minnie and Captain Mickey. Cute. Um, so for the most part, the food was good, but every so often I was like, meh. But one night I, they had prime rib and Chilean sea bass and I love both. So I ordered both. Yeah. And they were both good. I would do the same. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. Yes. I'm definitely trying to figure out a way to afford a Disney cruise. Cause that really made me want to go. Yeah. So much fun. You and me and Caitlin need to, to pull it together and go. We would have a blast. I'll sleep on the floor. I don't care. <laughs> they have three beds. So they have, um, let me show you my room really fast. Let's see here. Okay, here's the room. The video probably won't come up, but oh, it will. So here we go. Yeah, because two people could totally fit in that bed. Yeah, so it's queen size bed. And then is the couch a pull out? So it's not a pull out in the traditional way. I'll show you a picture in a second. So there's, there's go back here. There's two bathrooms here. Oh, that's nice. Well, so the one on the left is the sink and the shower. Okay. And the one on the right is the sink and the toilet. So if somebody's in a shower and you got to pee, no big. That's perfect. I love that. Yeah. And then... I actually brought extra hangers because when we were on the Royal Caribbean cruise, there was not enough hangers to hang our stuff. This room has two good size closets and lots of Love. hangers. Love. You can hear me huffing and puffing in this video. <laughs> So that curtain pulls so you have privacy if you want it. That's nice. Yeah. Come on. Not that you, me, and Caitlin would care, but. No. Nice if we want. 
I want to show you the bed when it's pulled down. There's another angle of the room. I mean, it's a decent sized room. It's not like you're spending a ton of time in there. No. But I want to show you. Can you see my cursor? Yeah. Okay, good. This right here up top, that comes down and it's a bunk bed. Oh my gosh. That pops down. That and is a whole nother bed. That's crazy. So one or two people can sleep here in the bed, one person on this, one person on this. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So let me show you a picture. Oh, here's the bathroom. That was the shower area. It's the toilet area. Okay. Closet, safe. That's the other closet, I which, by the way, has a ladder and life vests in it. Perfect. Let me see. I want to show you the bed pulled down, which probably wasn't until night. So he comes in and makes the bed for you and then comes in and That's... puts the bed away for you. Yeah, I do like that. This is the bed pulled. So it's not like your typical pull out couch. Yeah. And was it comfortable? It wasn't bad, actually. It really wasn't bad. The biggest problem for me was it's, you know, it's like a twin bed, full bed, whatever the heck it is. And A, I'm a big girl. And B, my arm takes up half a bed these days. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I can't lay it flat yet on the yeah. like on the bed so when I roll over I have to roll over and put it on a pillow so that was a bit difficult okay I could see that yeah but but really it, it was pretty comfortable I was actually surprised okay um but yeah that again this section up here also drops down into a bed and turns it into a buck bed I love that I think that's really cool so there you go and the bed is high so you shove all your luggage underneath so it's not in your way Chip and Dale. Oh, cute. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. We absolutely need to go on a Disney cruise. I wish I could pull it off with the discount they're offering right now because it's awesome, but I know, I know me too. I'm like, oh, I don't have any time off work. I know. It's crazy. So yeah, that was it. All right. Well, definitely book your next Disney cruise through Maria. Yes. Maybe you'll see us on one, hopefully someday soon. Or, you know, book your next Disney cruise through me and take me with you. Let's that go. Too. That too. Lindsay and I will just go with you and we'll have so much fun. <laughs> we are last. I we gotta are. say that. we're so much fun. But until next time, we'll see you real soon. See you real soon. <laughs>